Recent studies have confirmed that there is a higher enrollment rate of females at the Turks and Caicos Community College. What does this mean? Well, Joy Del Trail explains to us in this next story. 302 to 100, that is the ratio of female to male in the tertiary education system in the Turks and Caicos Islands. The numbers which came from a report in last week's budget addressed by the Minister of Finance, the Honorable Floyd Hall, compares invariably to those in the primary and secondary schools. In primary schools, the ratio is 98 to 100 and 91 to 100 in secondary schools. Mr. Samuel Forbes, Deputy Principal of the Turks and Caicos Community College, says the divide is evident on his campus. That statement is representative to a certain extent of what we have here in this campus. According to Forbes, the reasons for the gap range from social influences to the nature of programs offered at the college. I'm reminded of, the, of a book that was written by Professor Earl Miller, Men at Risk. And uh, a man, the man in our society is at risk for, for a number of reasons. For instance, coming out of the high schools, the, boy, the, 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 the men are more apt to go and find a job, and the girls are more apt to go and start continue studies. So and for instance, in the day program, in our business program, we'd have more women than men. And the question is, again, what area they're studying in? For instance, hospitality. The, uh, the men, from my perspective, see it as a, as a caring program. So they, they, don't, they don't quite readily go into the hospitality program. Retention also plays a significant factor in the numbers, and the college has made special efforts in their recruitment process to provide a bridge in that gap. And we have a whole lot of students, male and female, registering at the beginning of the year, but they find a dropout at a certain time. Uh, and sad to say, more, more, more males drop out than females. So this is the reason why, again, we end up with the situation. The Ministry of Education has also put in significant effort in securing tertiary education for all Turks and Caicos Islanders. In this recent budget alone, more than $17 million were proposed for scholarships. However, the question remains, how many Turks and Caicos men will take advantage of these funds? For WIV4 News, I'm Joy Del Trail.